Hey guys, it is Kevin here in Beijing, China. Long time no see on YouTube. Want to make a quick <clears throat> one take video for you guys. Um, I am just coming, so it's Friday afternoon. I'm now on holiday for the next nine days. Um, I just went to a post office, I had to mail some, some things for my wife and it's pretty far away from where we live. Um, I got an umbrella because it was raining and now it's beautiful and sunny. But uh, it's for the holiday, this, I noticed uh, in this neighborhood. Um, typical Chinese neighborhood, there's um, Chinese flags hanging everywhere. These little tuk-tuks are everywhere. <clears throat> I like this one's really shiny. What kind of tuk-tuk? So this person is probably a, ta a taxi driver. These would be like illegal taxis. I don't recommend taking the little kind of taxis like this because they normally, um, they will uh, try to get as much money from you as possible. Uh, there are meter taxis in the city. Those are better to take. These little kind of convenience store here. <clears throat> it's a typical um, delivery vehicle. You see those all over the city in Beijing, just dropping packages off parcels and things. So yeah, so this is, I don't get a chance to get to neighborhoods like this very often. Very different than the area where I live, because I live in the Embassy District. Um, this right here is Sanyuan Li Market, the back entrance for Sanyuan Li Market. This is a famous wet market or market for food, so vegetables, fruit. I made a video, one of my first videos when I came to China was of this place. I'll just pop in for a moment. <clears throat> Looks like this. Lots of different shops selling vegetables, fruit, pickled things, uh, meat, fish, seafood, all that stuff. Very quiet right now. Busy in the weekends. <clears throat> yeah, so take you back outside. Yeah, so we're uh, a little, most of my colleagues are, are traveling over the holidays, but we're staying here in Beijing, saving our money. We're going to be traveling to Japan for the winter holidays, so save our money for that. You know, we have to stay in an Airbnb while the there we go, there we go. Japanese restaurant. Isakaya, it's a good isakaya, lots of bottles of uh, Nihon Shu there. Sake. <clears throat> and there's some little shops here and restaurants and a barber shop and stuff. So this market that I just showed you there is very popular with the expat population here, the foreign population. It's been recently like, renovated and gentrified. And as it's renovated, um, make it more kind of foreigner friendly, the prices have gone up, so I've been told. Yeah, a very quiet neighborhood. I, bet, I totally bet this is the kind of neighborhood where everybody knows everybody. Battery powered bikes called e bikes everywhere you go. They are quiet. Come up here, here's a little vehicle that's uh, a cardboard recycling person drives. So some making their living recycling cardboard. Some retirees over here, some pensioners playing some type of game, which I don't know. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> my family and I went to the Summer Palace last weekend, and I brought my GoPro with me and took a lot of footage, so I'll get that edited up and to you guys in the next few days. Oh, check this out. So this is someone who is a cleaner, a street cleaner. Their job is to take care of the neighborhood. And we get out onto the main street, like right across the road from this neighborhood is the Bulgari the Beijing Bulgari Hotel and Mansion, so it's a very, very different type of, uh, how should I say, neighborhood. Do <whistles> they have any there are gardens in here? Yeah, I see people growing some things over here.
good way to get watched pretty closely, folks, is to walk around Beijing <clears throat> making vlogs for YouTube on your phone. Imagine if you had a, a, a bigger camera rig. I don't tend to use my DSLR to shoot things because it's too much of an inconvenience for me. Alright, and there's that Bulgari building. Go. So just come to the main road now. Oh, there goes a metered taxi cab. We're going to take a taxi. Take, take one like that, okay? See that one? Take that. Take a taxi like that. And there's the uh, Bulgari mansion. Pretty old hotel. Mansion version. Zoom on the sign over there. But that's fancy, but that's expensive. So guys, yeah, so for the holiday, I'm not going anywhere, staying here, staycation, going to relax, work on some projects, hang out with the kids, play with the kids, go to the park, get my nature on, go out, collect some bugs. Fall's coming, so there's not much time left for bugs. So I gotta, I gotta enjoy, enjoy that while I can because it gets pretty cold here in the winter and it's pretty barren nature-wise here in Beijing. All right, guys, well, that's it for me. Check the links below, guys. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Mad for Maple. That link's below. Um, <clears throat> check out uh, the Just Japan podcast. That's on hiatus. Hopefully, I'll get an episode out during the holiday. Go over to JustJapanStuff.com. I'm hoping to write some teacher blogs over at MakingBetterTeachers.com. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what goes on after that. But a lot of relaxing, a lot of sleeping in. That's my goal. All right, guys. So check the links below. Again, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. All that stuff. It's all below. Laters and oh yeah click the like button and you know subscribe all, all that stuff you should do it click the like button don't forget i need that from you